Since researchers first appeared in Antarctica in the early 1800s, people have always wanted to learn more about the mysterious frozen continent on the edge of the world. Already more than two centuries, we do not stop questioning. What is under the ice? How can living beings live in such extreme climate? Since the late 1950s, scientists have actively begun to explore Antarctica and since then have made many important discoveries. Antarctica is called a mysterious land. Legends say that here in the thick ice, the plates of aliens and a secret base of the Third Reich are hidden. There are rumors of snow ghosts and huge fire plasmoids that hunt people near the South Pole. Others believe that the ice hides traces of the Atlantean civilization, supposedly the first highly developed beings on the planet. But not many know that you need to be afraid of something quite different. February 6, 2012, Russian scientists finished drilling a huge well in four meter thick ice and reached a huge lake. It had not seen sunlight for millions of years. Is the opening of the lake like opening Pandora's box? What was kept in the ice and frost and what will come to life with the arrival of man? What do you think is there? Write your ideas and comments under this video. A mysterious ancient meteorite found in Antarctica. Due to its vast expanse, Antarctica is an excellent place to search for meteorites. In 2015, scientists from NASA and Stanford University found that a meteorite the size of a potato that flew from Mars and fell in Antarctica 13 years ago contains fossilized samples of ancient microbes from the Red Planet. Elongated Skulls Archaeologists have discovered three elongated skulls in the La Pile region, Antarctica. The discovery was a complete surprise to the world of areology. Skulls were the first human remains discovered in Antarctica. It was believed that the continent had never been visited by people before the modern era. We did not just find the remains of a man, we found elongated skulls. I have to pinch myself every time I wake up. I cannot believe this. This will make us reconsider our views on the history of mankind as a whole. The archaeologist who discovered the remains said excitedly, Earlier such skulls were found in Peru and Egypt, which indicates that ancient civilizations entered into contact long before we were told by history books. And this discovery shows us that there was contact thousands of years ago between civilizations in Africa, South America, and Antarctica. Dinosaurs lived in Antarctica. In the mid-1980s and early 90s, scientists discovered several fossilized reptilian remains that once ruled the planet. Thanks to this find, it was found that dinosaurs lived on the southern continent 200 to 70 million years ago. Scientists suggest that living things could survive there, since the air temperature in those days was 50 degrees higher, and also because the Antarctic land was located elsewhere, roughly in the southwest of the modern Pacific Ocean. The Pyramids for many years, people have been talking about certain pyramids located on the territory of Antarctica. According to some researchers, they are evidence of the existence of a proto-civilization. Or maybe it's just ice buildup. The first news about the existence of man-made pyramids in Antarctica appeared on the internet in mid-June 2013. The main evidence was a slideshow of several photographs and several explanatory texts. Everyone can find and view these pyramids from above with the help of Google Maps. If it was not people who created them, the question arises, why did such bizarre shapes form? A special expedition will be sent to Antarctica to study the mysterious objects. Petrified Remains in 2009, scientists found in the ice of Antarctica petrified remains belonging to an animal the size of a cat that could lay eggs. This animal was a distant relative of modern mammals living about 250 million years ago. It is particularly interesting that this species survived a mass extinction, which could be the result of global warming. It migrated from southern Africa to cool Antarctica. In those days, Antarctica was part of a supercontinent called Pangaea, 
which was formed about 299 million years ago and collapsed about 200 million years ago. Bloody Waterfall It is a stream of red liquid that flows out of the Taylor Glacier in Antarctica. The color of this unusual waterfall is connected to a large content of iron oxide in the water. Salt water, rich in iron, periodically leave the crack in the glacier. The source of water for the bloody waterfall is a lake, which is a few kilometers away from it, and covered with a glacier 400 meters thick. This lake appeared after the retreat of the seawater, which covered the valleys and the onset of ice 1.5 million years ago. The salinity of the water in the lake exceeds the salinity of the world's oceans by four times. So the water in the waterfall does not freeze until minus 10 degrees. On board the plane, which disappeared on January 23, 2013, there were three Canadians. The search was not successful. A year later, the wreckage of the plane was found on a very steep slope at the top of Mount Elizabeth. Most likely, the plane crashed against a mountain in the hopes that someone could survive. It is known only that on January 23, the plane that made the flight between the American station Amundsen Scott, located at the South Pole, and the Italian station Mario Zuccelli on the coast of Terranova Island, gave an alarm signal being 450 kilometers from the pole. 100-year-old whiskey One of the amazing finds was two boxes of excellent Scotch whiskey lying under the ice layer for exactly 100 years. Discovering the find, the researchers did not immediately remove it from under the ice, fearing damage. They waited three years before special tools were delivered to the drilling site. The glacier was drilled and the drawers were neatly removed. The head driller replied to the journalist's question, Do you want to try the drink? Said that it is much more important to study the find than to possess it. Even if it's the best whiskey on earth, I will not drink it. Let it remain a mystery to me. An Eerie Creature An unknown creature was found by an American expedition in the thickness of ice at a depth of 675 meters. Remember the horror film, Thing? It seems to be based on real events. The size of the creature is 20 centimeters. It has a 2 centimeter retractable jaw. Scientists are trying to determine its origin, classification, and method of nutrition. It is already clear that Antarctica is fraught with a lot of mysteries. It is also necessary to think whether it is necessary to solve them. There is life under the kilometers of ice of Antarctica. Researchers drilled a hole 730 meters deep in the Antarctic Ross Ice Shelf and sent a robotic probe down. It explored an area in which there is no sunlight. Scientists expected that they would not find life there except for microbes with a slow metabolism. Instead, they made an amazing discovery. Under the thick layer of ice lived small fish, starfish, sponges, anemones, and other creatures. Frozen Ship In 1914, during the Antarctic expedition, commanded by the famous polar explorer Ernst Shackleton, the crew of 28 set the goal to cross Antarctica. The ship Endurance had hardly reached the continent and was then surrounded and crushed by ice. For almost 17 months, the people fought for survival and embarked on a desperate hike to the campsite of whalers. Thanks to clear organization, discipline, and a skillful command of Shackleton, all 28 people survived and returned to their homeland. 